What's good with my YouTube family? We back with no reaction video. We got CJ the Chin with Stick Mina, the personification of hatred. That is one hating as nickel. Hating as neck. All he did was his hatred brought him back to life. That's that, bro. He was such a menace that the devil was like, no, bro, you got to go, bro. Like, you have to go, bro. I'm not dealing with you. Like, you know how crazy you had to be for the devil to be like, yo, I'm not dealing with you, bro, bro. You're wild. You had to be crazy. But CJ channel going to be leaned down below. A long reason the video. This is hair in front of my face. I'm trying to get it. Anyway. It's still in my face. Yeah, the season 10 is going to be linked down below. A long the video. Make sure you go show us a little. Hit the sub button. Please. I don't really like asking. But hit the sub button. We, I'm, I'm trying to get crazy this year. So, you know, it's free. If you, you know you can hit it, you know it just unhit it later. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to hold you. But with that being said, we're going to hit the yeah cinematic mode. Talk to me, CJ. <clears throat> Hatred. Right. To dislike a nigga intensely or passionately, to the point where you completely detest and despise that nigga on a daily basis. <laughs> on a see, daily and gentlemen, there are basis. just many haters in fiction just in general. For an example, Reverse Flash. A big yeah, hater. This man hates Barry so much, I don't even know if you call it hating at this point. Yeah, I don't like think a it's a severe case of obsession. Munching in hell, eating. Big now, riding. You know, we got your DOs, your right. Frizzles, your flat nose, no nostrils. Yeah, and he was hating. Look how he looked, bro. Smell. And yo, you even got your scars. Yeah, Scar was a. <coughs> Scar was a whole hater. <coughs> That's crazy. But ladies and gentlemen, the man that we are focusing on today might be one of the most despicable, vile, disgusting, and ignorant human beings to ever grace God's earth. No, he is not might be. of hatred, Colonel H. Stink Maynard. Come on, come on now. I exhibit a. Mm. I ladies and ain't no warning, bro. If you ever seen Bulldogs at this point, and basically this entire video, ladies and gentlemen, I must explain to you the the moment. An altercation mm -hmm. caused by ignorance overwhelming the logic, otherwise rational thinking of, of a, a brother. brother. Now watch closely as I personally give you a demonstration. Could have just said sorry. Hey, Look what it escalates to. Where you going, nigga? Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, what you say to me, cuh? Now, as you can see, these niggas is ready to pop a cap in each other's asses. So they start to get to First off, they got stormtrooper aim. Like they just got off the set of A New Hope. Mm -hmm. And once they realize they just both wasted each other's time, they end up figuring out that they're they like, my bad, bro. They life away. Freeze! And they got banged on, like. Now, since we have more of an understanding of what is happening here, ladies and gentlemen, meet Colonel H. Stinkmeter. Now, even back in his childhood, Stinkmeter was a hater. Was an old hater. He hated everything that he made himself blind. He didn't blind. care for beautiful sceneries, sunsets, rainbows. He just disliked happiness in general. Man, this is some old bush. Right. At 15, Stinkmeter lost his eyesight to cancer. But the thing is, he didn't, he care. didn't care. He was happy. He was just glad that he ain't had to see shit no more. So doctors only gave him three years left to live. So he decided his hatred for those kept him alive. three years, he would dedicate his life to spread misery and hatred. All for just sing giggles. And the thing is, people don't even know how he lived to become an old man. All they just say is, bro, is basically a Sith Lord. That basically. drove him to live every single day. Literally. Later on, we see this beat up ass pickup truck driving like a Nissan Altima in Atlanta, not giving a care. In the world, and we drive like that. It's like truck who done possessed this man. Wait a minute. As I'm now thinking about how's he driving? The hell gave this old blind right. driver's license. Right. Whoever issued this, sh you should Need be, to be in jail. Yourself. Now, as we can see, this man is speeding through a parking lot going at least 50, and he starts bagging in the gray ass car. And he's like, hmm, there better not be nobody in my parking space. He's Start, he dark double checking. He gets out of his car and he's like, who in the hell parked in my space? That's like calling. One eight hundred collecting ass whooping. 
partner. So granddad says, yo, bro, are you blind? Yes. yes. I am. You got a problem with that? Nigga. And ladies and gentlemen, just like that, Robert Freeman has been trapped. In a moment. So Huey says, yo, you could have killed somebody. And this man stink me and are like, oh, I'll be doing them a favor. Getting ran over by me is as gracious as Jesus Christ coming down himself and giving you holy communion. Oh, Lord, look what you did to my car, brother. You Why he sound insurance. like granddad, though? Yeah, girl, you he sound like both of them. Ass whooping insurance. That's really what it's saying. Pay a deductible. Now, ladies and That's really how it went down. Either do verbatim. Two things right now. He could do A, walk away and let insurance handle or it. End or up B, in a... fight with an old crazy blind man. And, and uh, let's just say this brother chose B. So yeah. Stink Meter just start pressing. He, he just press. spitting in his face. Mm -hmm. He's like, what you gonna do, huh? Watch punk ass, pussy ass, jazz, punk ass, bitch ass, nigga. Start talking crazy to granddad. Somebody, bitch ass, nigga. And then Stink Meter ends up doing one of the most evil, demonic, and despicable on that boy. things Shoot. you can ever do to another man. Hold up. Is that new I shoes? New shoes. This man stepped on Granddad's new white boy sister. Oh, Boom. hell no. Nah, bro. This is the most disrespectful thing His soul lifted. Ever do to he would have seen Skydad like so quick. these hoes from Foot Locker like five minutes ago. And nah, nah. If you would play it back, look how he stepped on it. Mm -hmm. Bro, pulled the back. His Look at it, he, he up here really. at a 90 degree angle and went, yeah. Nah, bro, that's how you know he ain't got no respect for you. Boom. Like, yeah, ain't no more Yeah, God. So then this was the final straw that made Granddad take. So Granddad swing at him, but he dodges it. And he's like, ah, yeah. Oh. Oh, Lord, and it was on his bad knee. Jesus Christ, my brother, you just got your ass beat by a Oh, man. yeah. So Huey had to stop him. He was like, nah, bro, it's over. So later on, after Granddad was just fully embarrassed, everybody just started making fun of him. Riley's like, eh, could it be me getting my ass whooped by an old blind guy? Riley was Later a. That night while Granddad cleaning his shoes, bro, I look on the news and he like, this just in. A fight at Woodcrest Mall broke out today with an older blind man and another unknown assailant. And it wasn't just local news. It was CNN everywhere. Was reporting on it and international news. Brother got niggas in Mexico City calling him a piñata. So then the phone started ringing and guess who left a voicemail? Hater. Hello, Robert. Pick up the phone. Come Pick up the phone. The most. Yo, I saw you get He's a hater too. By that old blind nigga on the news. And I know you must be feeling embarrassed right now. So you know what would cheer you up, Robert? Mm. Some KFC. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Kentucky Robert, Fried hello. Chicken. Don't you walk away from this ass machine. So it got so bad to the I love that his CJ on, sound like them though. Granddad ended up going back to the mall, found Stink Meter, and challenged him to a fight. So Granddad started training, thinking he Ali or something. Because Ruth, was yeah, like, blind nigger swordsman. This man is like a blind samurai or something. I had a dream about him the other night. He's like that. And then on the other side, you got Riley ignorant ass promoting. Getting like, money off it. Yeah, big man. Big so man. It's the night of the fight, and it is packed. Riley out here overcharging for ten dollars, so they start squaring up and stink meaner like, yeah, you scared? He's a like, scared, it. ain't you, bitch, nigga? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can smell the right off of you. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's a that smell though. So he starts swinging, and then Huey ends up realizing, oh my god, this ain't no trained blind samurai. He ain't got super hearing or nothing. He was just a blind old man that just got lucky. So he was like, wait, hold on, Granddad. But it and was Granddad ran, walked him granddad down. Granddad started whooping. Walked that him grand. down. Bro, I gave him a shorty gun. Hey, good. And started kicking up like hard rain. And then Granddad loaded up and knocked him out. What the? Fatality. Sent that boy to sky. He, nope, he, he went down. He didn't knock him out. Granddad killed him. Yeah, All one because he hitter, got trapped in a nigga moment. So yeah, that was Exhibit A, and it's time to move on to Exhibit B. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I now present to you Exhibit B, The Return. So as we know, Fatality. Died, but little what? did we know, this was just the beginning. This man is in hell training with the devil. Bro is washing demons. Look. And even the devil said, he's the baddest motherfucker. I've never seen. He said, I don't want nothing to do with you. To acknowledge that he is the baddest 
Oscar he's ever seen. That is the most legendary feat of all time. All time. He even called the devil a bitch ass nigga. So the devil's like, Colonel H. Stinkmeter. He said he going I back. I'm now sending you back to spread ignorance and hatred in the black community. Ah, hell ain't shit. I'm coming for you, Freeman. That's literally what he said. So meanwhile, we cut over to Tom, who is basically the equivalent of a brother that is out of touch with his people. All and even people. Stinkmeter knew that every brother's spirit is weakened during that nigga moment. So this dude ends up cutting off Tom and taking his parking spot. So Tom's like, hey, hey, come on, man, you nick poop you, you can't do that, hey. Hey, hey, come back here. I have my turn poop. signal on and everything. But then the dude turn around and just start cussing him out. He like, F you punk ass, pussy ass, weak ass, nigga. I'll beat your motherfuckers to diddy ass, nigga. Don't ever your life ever holler at me, nigga. Now as we can see, Tom has been trapped. Why did you die? And this was a perfect time. For stink meaner to make his move. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what did you say, nigga? So this man told WWE drop kicks this man. And he's like, oh yeah, look at you. You was talking all that good shit a second ago, go. and you got kicked in your chest. You eat a dick, nigga. You eat, eat a dick. dick. Oh, oh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Uh, so, so, somebody call an ambulance. Hey, help! Now, ladies and gentlemen, as we can see, Tom has been possessed by Stink Meaner. So mm -hmm. this man Stink Meaner got him acting up in the courtroom. Burr got up in there and said, F your court, nigga! <laughs> then Look at all the white people. Bro Another goes problem. home to Tom. And dogs wife. her crazily. He's like, oh yeah, I wanna beat up them booty cheeks. Oh, Tom, what has gotten into you? The same thing that's about to get into you. And he beats his wife's cheeks up. Uh, Oh my goodness. Imagine an evil spirit taking over your body and using your body to beat up on your girl doonies. Nah, bro, it's crazy. Would so never. then later on, Stink Meter pulls up to Robert's house. Now, I don't know what Robert looking up on the toilet. We know he was looking at. going crazy right now. So dog starts tearing the door down with an ax and he's like, I'm back. Like, yo, what in the shining is going yeah. on right now? So granddad get like that. running down the steps. Jesus Christ, this man's whole package is hanging out. Man, so I'll saying, be mad. You don't remember me? You don't remember my name? <clears throat> What's my name, nigga? <laughs> What's my name, Robert? What's my, my name? name? So then Huey finally says his name. He's like, ding, 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 ding. that's right, nigga. So then all the Freemans get ready to jump him. So they get the strap and this man stink me to going crazy. Mm -hmm. Bro, body Huey smack Riley around and he is still continuing to body the whole thing. Bro, when you, when you can throw hands with Huey, he it's like, done. Is that all y'all got? Yeah, Look at his backhand to Huey. Ooh. Oh my gracious. So they finally end up pinning him down and Riley had to smack this man with like three faces to finally just knock him out. So later on, they got him restrained on Ree, the nigga, Robert is having this date. So in the middle of his date, Yo, he going wake crazy. up and he like, Robert, I know you hear me, you bitch. I know you ain't paid your taxes yet. Oh, honey, what is that? Oh, 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 no, 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 oh, oh, no. I know you hear me, Robert. I know you didn't vote this year, you love he, He's just putting all his energy. All his information out there. Weird though. Wait, wait, hold on, baby. That's just a TV. So they end up having to call the Catholic Church to exercise this man. So there was only one man that could save the day. A job application. Hey, God bless you, Robert. I can't <laughs> a job application. Now, let's go ahead and get down to this. Removing the evil spirit from a brother is as hard as getting rid of So we must use these holy weapons from God Himself. A bunch of weapons that I will not say because, dear God, I will get demonetized. The brother will make it excuses if he get desperate that brother may try to rap oh yes you can hear it robert i, I know you got bad credit so they get up in a job application and pulls out the bible and says read the read oh. and then they start beating this man on the bed and saying some phrases that I, i'm yeah. gonna be honest with you i know i'm not the most family friendly but, but it's crazy I, I ain't saying it but then Huey ends up realizing this ain't doing nothing. 
So they kept on doing this for like several hours. And then they ended up figuring out that the only way to expel his spirit was to create peace with him. And the only way to do that was for Ruckus to make him laugh about how much he hates brothers. And that finally ended up exercising his spirit and sending him back down to hell. Exhibit C. This, All right, ladies and gentlemen. They I came up to you rocking, exhibit though. Exhibit C. The hateocracy. The hateocracy. So even though man. the stink meter is now classic long episode. Dead All of these is classic. He still classic. had a crew that wanted to come back and get it back in. Just because, ladies and gentlemen, they really ain't the care about stink meter. A group of bitter old hating ass niggas consisting of Colonel H. Stink meter, Lord Rufus Crabmeister, Lady Esmeralda Gright Nasty, and Mr. George Pistofferson. Pistofferson. Now you see, they all met at a retirement home and they all hated each other. But the thing they had in common they hated everything they hated else everybody else even more so they decided to cause complete chaos at the retirement home look at them stealing jello and crashing bingo parties before before yeah before what bingo nigga now what the f i win give me that shit. eventually it got to the point where they had to kick him out but that didn't stop them because they roamed the earth for a decade causing chaos. Eventually, that's till a different type up. of hate. But because of the death of Stink Meter, the hateocracy reunited to get it back in blood. So in meanwhile, big we blood. cut over to Ruckus working at this gas station and this black car pulls up. So they come up to the door and Ruckus is like, oh, hell no. Nah. What the hell y'all want? We looking for someone. Are you sure it's someone or something? Because you should be looking for the zoo. What y'all looking for? The <laughs> like George about exhibit? Zone. We're looking for a man named Robert. Freeman. Oh, hell no. Y'all know Robert? Y'all best get to stepping before I send y'all ass to hell on. So you telling me you know Robert then? Good. Looks like I can find where he is if I beat your fat googly one-eyed ass to death. Whoop his ass, Rufus. <laughs> Breaking news. A man at a gas station was jumped by three assailants in black. Three the homeless victim, people. Mr. Uncle Not homeless, old, uh, elderly people. Had this to say. Oh, Lord, that, that, that was three of them. Oh, beat they, they the must dog out of the zoo or something. Said dog, yeah, listen, dog. Animals. Police say the suspects are still at large. So yeah, man, uh, Ruckus got jumped. So later that day, George and Esmeralda pull up to Huey and Riley's school, and they like, um, yes, we're the grandparents of the Freemans, and uh, we're here for checkout. Yeah, that's right, we're here for checkout, fool. So Huey end up realizing, obviously, something ain't right. So they go outside, and there they are. Well, 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 we came a long way to kill y'all little motherfuckers. And dog, look at this look jump. At uh um, no, nah, no, nah, G. If I see a pair of 75-year-olds doing that, like this, I already know I'm about to get my ass whooped. So they start to get the scrappy, and they is teeing off. Oh, my God. And look at Esmeralda. Oh, Lord, she beat me. Hell out of Riley. Oh, Riley don't oh, never win no fight. She hit this man with, with the, the Naruto combo that uh, Orochimaru and Sasuke mm -hmm. with. But she hit him with that gripe nasty variant. So Huey and Riley just got absolutely body here. Nah, but Riley got his sh ran, bro. Hey, at least Huey put up a fight. Right. But they ended up getting bailed out because it was time for recess. But meanwhile, while this was happening, Robert ends up going fishing, but he ends up running into Rufus. So he's like, come on, how are you doing? Oh, nothing much. I'm just thinking about catching fish. I might catch one more today. Tell me, sir. Do you know a man by Stink Man? Oh, wait. You already should, because you killed him. Robert Freeman! So, bruh starts swinging this. I don't even know. I don't what that know is. what that so is at all. Step, but, dude ended up wrapping him up in the thing. But, Robert kicks the barrel of crabs in his face. Oh, Lord. So later on, he ended up they hiring Bushido Brown to be a bodyguard. So the hate Bushido, Bushido was banging them, bro. So they start getting ready to jump this man Bushido Brown. But he low-key started working him. Oh my god! Look how he beat old girl, beat the wig beat off the that wig bitch. Off. And he went, boom. <clears throat> then he hit him with the finish. Oh, god. Nah, bro, this man Bushido Brown was cold. Cold. But I say he was because uh, he got his it. life was past tense. Mm -hmm. Bro, this caught that man lacking. Oh my god. You know, you got to censor a lot of stuff now on YouTube because uh, you're that new policy. You don't want to make Mama Susan mad now, do you? Mm -hmm. So Granddad started apologizing. He's like, okay, bro, listen, listen. I'm sorry I killed Steak Meaner. I am sorry I had a nigga moment. But then they end like, up we saying, don't care. Mm, we don't give a f about no Steak Meaner. I beg your pardon? We don't. Yeah, he was our nigga, but it don't matter. We just came to f shit up. What? No. 
No, yeah, and they literally did this just because. This whole time you thought, oh, they coming back to get it back in no. blood. No, they literally came and did all this. All because they can. No, nah, bro, this is crazy. That's just hating to another level. So they about to kill him, but luckily the cops came and they just arrested him. And the stink meaner saga finally came to an end. That was probably the best thing to happen. Psych! Yeah. Exhibit D. I think it was a clone. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Uncharted Territory. The territory where legends are made. Welcome to Exhibit B. I now present to you the clone. So you see, Steve Mina wasn't done messing with Robert because he had a clone. You see, Steve Mina answered the ad on uh, blackpeoplemeet.com mm -hmm. and the government made a clone of him. So he gets his note from the original Stink Meaner and it says, be a clone me. Go f with that nigga Robert. OG Stink. OG Stink. So later on, Robert is at the mall and he sees the back of his car is rammed into Banged again. Up. And guess who did it? What's good, Robert? Guess what? I ran into your car and I didn't even want to park there. I just wanted to f up your car and wait here to tell you about it. So Robert's like, oh, no. Nah, Another bro. one. I ain't having this today. I'm just going to have to kill you again then, huh? So they get the scrapping and this man's stink meter is moving. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, yeah, the government gave me some augmentation. Look at that headbutt. Mm. Do no throw. Mm. Sidekick boom. And people recording, recording Robert getting bodied, man. So you know this episode was made back then during the glory days of World Star. So the cops ended up coming and stopping this fight. But no, no, it wasn't over. Because later on, he get this call on Skype. <laughs> Skype. Any of y'all remember yeah, Skype, man? No, a lot of them remember fact, Skype, man. anybody even still use Skype? I think, but anyways, no. I think on do. the phone and he like, what's good, nigga? Just to let you know, we gonna have a rematch. And I done already told the whole world about it. So if you don't show, you a bitch. So they ended up having another altercation, but Robert called the cops and they ended up arresting Stink Meaner. But then he got out. This is where it just got crazy. So Ed Wunsler pulls up to Robert's house and he's like, hey, I heard about your altercation with Stink Meaner. So uh, I bailed him out. And now we're going to have a whole fight because I like money. So they end up making this a whole fight, a televised event with they got, look at the merch. material look at the merch. everything. But while Robert was training for this fight, something was happening to him. The dark side was taking over, and he was slowly becoming, becoming more like Stink Meaner. So it's the night of the fight, and you can obviously see the difference in him. Man's got the ball spot and everything. Bro became what he wanted to destroy. So they start to fight, and Robert just kicked him in the face. So Stink Meaner like, oh, I see. You must have took some karate classes or something. Ah! Start so beating yeah, bro, him. This wasn't even a fight. Robert beat gave him this man stupid. the most absolute beat down of the century. Start but beating the him thing stupid. is that you have to think about, though, this isn't really Robert. All this is is just Robert under Stink Meaner's influence. He ended up becoming what he wanted to destroy. An old hating ass. So here we ended up having to stop it. He's like, Granddad, this ain't you. Stop, man. And yo, look at the whole Day, crowd, it's not bro. funny no it's more. Just silent. And then this man Ed like, hmm, looks like this entire event was a flop. This is basically like an Austin McBroom creator clash fight. Mm -hmm. Flop. It was That's only wild. fun when your ass was getting beat, Robert. All right, everybody, pack it up. Yeah, it's, it's no fun when the rabbit goes. got the gun. So then Robert told Stink Miner, if I let you live, will you stop messing with me? And Stink Miner like, I mean, sure. All you did was just have to ask. <laughs> no, <laughs> so you telling me this man could have just stopped all this hate and if he, he just said, asked him? Nah, that's crazy. That is wild. So we cut three months later. And this man Stink Meaner outside of his house still harassing him. Robert, hey, why you don't ever invite your boy Stink over? That's f***ed up, Robert. So Robert comes to the door. He's like, get off my property. And Stink Meaner say, oh, I'm on the sidewalk. And I'm going to be here for the rest of your life, Robert. Robert. See you tomorrow at 7. <laughs> OG, bro, if you know, you know, Stink Meaner is another, that was like classic, that's classic, like, and just, that's classic, I mean, that's one of the classic moments in TV history, bro, that's one of the classic moments in all of TV history, because uh, Stink Meaner was such a great character, bro, everything, is because he's so stupid, bro, he's just a hater, literally,
hating. No rhyme or reason. He was like, bro, I can just hate because who going to stop me? Not you, Robert. Not you, Robert. Bitch, it's not good. Hey, CJ channel going to be linked down below. I'm in the video. Make sure you show us a love. I'm going to catch y'all in the next one. Peace, man. Hey. Boondocks is a special gem. Take your mom,